just when you think it can't get worse for the wrestling community, this sort of shit happens. I don't know what Lana did, but whatever she did, it has screwed over her peers. Long story short, Vince McMahon has basically banned any of his wrestlers from getting money from third-party platforms, i.e. they can't make money anymore off Facebook, off Cameo, off Twitch, TikTok, or especially YouTube. And that's really going to hurt, and the channel this hurts the most is Up, Up, Down, Down, Xavier Woods' gaming channel. Which has more than 2 million subscribers. How is he going to keep his fan base entertained if he can't make money off it anymore? I mean, when you look at what Impact does, doing a joint, joint working partnership between Access and Twitch, you'd think Vince would see more money in do going third party. But no. Vince McMahon is one of the most stubborn, senile, and out-of-touch businessmen I've ever had the misfortune of knowing or reading about, more or watching, more so the latter most and the form and the second, the second and the third more than the first. I've never met Vic, Vince McMahon personally. The only pro wrestling man, owner, owner and operator I have met in person is Carrie Silken. One of the founders of Ring of Honor. And he's a very chill guy. Don't get... And Carrie is a very chill individual. Check my Facebook page. Best in the World 2016 in photo album. There's a photo of Carrie at the convention stand. And he didn't mind me getting that shot of him. If anything, it should only be Lana who gets punished for this. But then again, she's always been in the doghouse, even more so now she doesn't have Rusev, her ex-husband, to hide behind. Luke, either Rusev or Lashley to hide behind. And it sucks for most of the other wrestlers who show up on Up, who are part of the Up, Up, Down, Down family. Lana basically signed the channel's death warrant with whatever the fuck she pulled on Twitch. And it sucks! And I recently heard Andrew Yang is going to go governmental on suing Vince, filing a lawsuit against Vince for corrupt labor practices and abuse of power. And this is almost 30 years removed from when Vince was put on trial for the steroid scandal of the early 90s. One, he managed to get away from Scott Free. This time, I'm not sure if Vince didn't even get off the hook. And keep in mind, Vincent, Vincent Kennedy McMahon is a 75-year-old coot. In my opinion, is probably one of the most senile coots it's ever been probably my misfortune to ever know about. To know about. And for those wondering, Vince is 75. I mean, is 75. Five years old. I mean, to still have that kind of physique at 75 is amazing. I mean, it's still rather remarkable. That said, he's still one of the most sick, twisted, and perverse son of a bit sons of bitches on or off camera. Off camera, though, I think he's becoming a little more senile and detached from the world around him.
I mean, considering that his wife Linda has, on several occasions, tried to run for the Senate seat in Connecticut and failed, and was briefly a member of the Trump cabinet before she resigned. And with Shane running raw underground, and God knows what Stephanie's been up to you in the pandemic, I mean, during this pandemic, I mean, the way I see it, the WWE is bleeding money at this point. I mean, first, empty show, no vent, no audience shows, that was during the early stages of, early months of the virus. Risk from the Performance Center. Then... Using the NXT roster or as audience members or as for shows. Now, this Thunderdome thing. It's like they're running out of ideas on how to try to stimulate an audience with no audience in, during this time of the virus. When they're... I mean, yeah, as I've stated, come November 4th, people are going to come back to the venues at full strength. But at least... But when compared to AEW, I can at least say AEW is doing something to gain back some money, i.e. letting fans back into the arena. I mean, yeah, it's only 10% capacity, but at least AEW is actually making some attendance money back to make up for some lost time and revenue. WWE, on the other hand, is bleeding money like a sieve. And this whole Thunderdome experiment is proven to be a bit of a bust, if you ask me. Come November the 4th, fans are going to be coming back. Mark my words. Remind me again why they have Robinson Chirinos as the catcher today. Tough break for the fills. Sorry, I was a little distracted. Anyway. My point applies. Lana, you screwed up, and now I don't think anyone's going to make money off third-party platforms anymore unless Vince McMahon is brought down. I haven't done a lot of wrestling rants in the past for, for a good while. And this is only the second video in three days that I've done that pertains to anything involving wrestling. Smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Goodbye, good night, bang, happy Labor Day, and God bless America.